Hello everyone, I'm Kogi from Kogi.in and you're watching this review of Western Digital MyCloud EX2 Ultra NAS. NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. In simple terms, you can also call this as your personal cloud storage. You can keep this device at your home or office connected to your primary router. Now here is the box pack and inside the box you'll find the cloud EX2 unit user manual warranty card setup information ethernet cable and uh, power adapter cloud ex2 ultra starts with 4 tb of storage option now this one is with 8 tb storage this unit is powered by 1.3 gigahertz dual core processor with 1 gb ram and running my cloud os3 operating system there are two USB ports on the back, a RJ45 port to connect uh, your router and DC in to power up this device. Its plastic body EX2 Ultra is using a RAID system. There are two hard drives, data is stored on one hard drive and then replicated on the other. This helps in case of a drive failure. If uh, a particular drive fails, you can simply replace that particular drive. You will still have your data on the other drive. I'm now going to connect the power source and then connect the RJ45 into the router port and the other point into this uh, Cloud EX2. You can also attach external storage if you want to using the USB port. This is the only setup needed. Once done, power on and uh, that's it. Uh, it does take some time getting the system up. As you can see, the power LED is blinking, the RAID 1 hard disk and the RAID 2 hard disk are functional, the LEDs are stable, but still the power LED is blinking. After a few minutes when all of these LEDs become stable, the cloud storage is ready. You will need to set up this cloud storage for the first time, go to mycloud.com slash setup and follow the instructions. I'm using my mobile phone and I'm going to use the default username and password and what I get here is the storage details of uh, the cloud storage device. You can always check the free space available on this uh, cloud storage. The next thing I'm going to do is to create a user. You need to create user to give them access to your personal cloud storage. So I'm going to create a user uh, named Kogi and uh, here is the username that I have created. Once you create a user, they will get an email and they need to follow certain steps to enable their account. Activation code is assigned and if you want, you can limit the storage space to that particular user. Once the account has been activated, the user will have to download the MyCloud application from Google Play or Apple Store and then simply log in using their login details. The user can then access their personal space on the cloud or can access something that is being shared publicly. There is an auto backup option. If you enable that, all your videos and photos from your mobile device or tablet will be automatically backed up on the cloud storage. That is actually your personal cloud storage that you might have kept in your office or your home. So all this data that you're seeing here are being backed up onto this MyCloud EX2 storage. Since this device is connected to the network, I can access its content from anywhere in this world. There is a desktop application available too. You can download this on your desktop or laptop and can access the cloud storage wirelessly. Now this is a very good option in case if you are already using a cloud storage and paying the monthly fees for that. You can go in for the 4TB or 8TB MyCloud EX2 Ultra storage NAS system. There is a one-time investment and of course you do need a good net connection and always on connection. The advantage is that Western Digital MyCloud EX2 Ultra is secure. You get a lot of free space and the data is always with you residing at your home or office. MyCloud EX2 Ultra with 4TB storage space starts from Rs 29,500.